My name's Henry. I've never been much of a fighter. Well, how did I do? Do I have to tell you? It's not enough you got your ass kicked and can hardly stand up. Why did your boots tell that to me? I've always been good at talking, though. Need someone to talk to. Fuck! Hell, watch me talk my way right into this woman's doorway. Yo, what it do? I'm looking for a guy named Riki. Well, I never said a knickers, did I? When I was younger, my dad died in a raid, and I slinked away. I soon discovered that I had a silver tongue and a knack for stealth. So you know what I became? A private investigator. I started off patrolling the mean streets of Tullenburg, hooking and booking prozzies and louts on the payroll of the citizens. They were ungodly and they had to be taken care of. It wasn't long before the government picked me up to work for them. Along with it came my first job. They dropped a big pile of steaming case in my lap. But when I read up about it, I realized it was connected to the death of my father. Faster. In a real fight, you'd be dead already. Sir. Ah, Henry. Carry on. Well, lad, have you made any progress with the investigation? Yes, sir. I think I have at last. So you found someone who isn't gutted and nailed to a wall? It wasn't easy, sir, but I believe I have. I have information about one of the bandits who did it. He's even hiding in a village nearby. God's blood. It's true the darkest shade has been with the candlestick. Who is he? I only know that they call him Riki, and he's from here in Talmberg. That's it. That's it? This coif-wearing common dandy. You wouldn't believe how much effort it took me to find that out. But I think it's enough to go on. What if he's dead too? I think we'd already know if he was. These fellows are not given to subtlety. Hmm. True enough. We haven't found any more mutilated corpses. Well, get on with it then. And when you find him, come and see me. Most likely I'll be in the encampment by Merhoyed. You can rely on me, sir. Farewell. And be careful, Henry. I know what that rabble did to you. But remember with whom you're dealing. Don't start any foolhardiness on your own. Understood? I'll try not to, sir. I had a lead. Riki was his name, and investigating was my game. I saddled up and began to make my way across the countryside to follow up on what I'd learned so far. As I emerged from the woods, I could see the Merajed settlement across the field. It was time to get some information. Is Q for quest or quartermaster? I'd come to the wrong place. But if I wasn't going to get information on Riki, goddammit I was going to get some information on how to swing a sword. I'd like some training in handling a sword. That's commendable, but my services aren't for free. For five groschen, I'll teach you the basics. What do you say? Sounds good. When do we start? Right away, if you like. Take this wooden sword and come to the arena with me. That thing you have in your hand is a sword. That wasn't bad. Nice. 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 Fine. That's enough. Is that it? Well, how did I do? Do I have to tell you? It's not enough you got your ass kicked and can hardly stand up. Well. <laughs> well, all right then. I'd like to try that too. You have to put up at least 10 groschen. If you win, you get it back and something on top. Bitch, 20 groschen. I'll put down 20. Are you sure? I wouldn't want to have to scoop you out of the arena with a shovel. Who do you think you can take? Slightly advanced. I don't know. An average one. You could borrow armor for the fight for a few groschen. What do you say? Sure, why not? All right, what are we going with? Sword and shield? Ooh, you know what? Let's just go a short sword. Opponent? Hmm. Let's get my long sword. I'll wring your neck, you cur. What the shit? Ah! 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 Stop it! <laughs> Fuck! Needless to say, I didn't win. Well, how did I do? Do I have to tell you? It's not enough you got your ass kicked and can hardly stand up. Why did your boots tell that to me? Wait. 
Wait. Fuck are you doing here? What the? Hey, what, what is happening? Loud. Is my horse hitting me? Robin. <laughs> I'll just pick some dandelions at your feet, my liege. Where are you going? After letting the other guy win in the fight, I had to recalculate where I was headed, so I pulled out my journal and gave it a read. The parish priest, Father Godwin, revealed to me that Limpy Lubosch told him in confession a bandit known as Riki, one of the gang that raided Newhoff, is to be found somewhere in Talmberg. Unfortunately, he couldn't tell us any more. I'd better start by asking around the village whether anyone knows this Riki. I've fucking gone to the complete wrong place. The complete hey, wrong place. Hey, put that weapon away right now or I'll call the guards. If you don't put that weapon away Stop right now, that I'll weapon call around a guard. Or I'll go and get a guard. Do you, you hear me? Fucking, put it away. You pack of Melvins. All right. Let's go. Well, it was back off to Talenberg for me. When I arrived, I immediately began questioning the citizens. Yo, what it do? I'm looking for a guy named Riki. Hey, buddy. I'm looking for a guy named Riki. Riki. You mean Hinek, the courier's son? Yes, maybe. Do you know where I might find him? He's not usually around here. Try asking at his home. But be warned, the old courier's as crabby as they come. You know, there must be someone who, like, talks to Riki. I mean, come on, you gotta know something, surely. It's a small town. There's one bathhouse wench talks to him. A filthy harlot, of course. Who else? And what's this harlot's name? Adela, I think. Is this Adela? She's not much of a... A hoe, by the looks of things. Where does the tanner live? <laughs> oh, she doesn't have any dialogue. At the end of every village, go downstream to the creek. And it's the last house on the left bank. Alright. Get our little booty, booties wet. Uh. Uh. I can't get up. Alright, I'm here, but I can't get over this, this little fence. Wait. That's the father, for sure. He's farming. He's not tanning. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm going to check inside. There better be a tannery inside, otherwise my immersion is broken. The fucking fences all the way around. He's keeping out the whole Hungarian army with this. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Yep. That's a good sign. Right there. Yep, that's another good sign. That's a good sign. All right, buddy. Yep. Whoa! 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 Calm down. Calm down. Fuck they said you'd be crabby. I'm looking for a fellow they call Riki. Have you ever heard tell of him? Psh, why wouldn't I? That's what they call my son, Hinek. Aha. Uh -huh. You wouldn't happen to know where he is. I don't know nothing. Don't you know at least where he usually goes? It's quite important. Hinek shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick, and Harry? Your son is about to get into deep shit. I'm trying to find him so I can warn him. That's nothing new. He's always up to his ears in it. This time his neck is on the block. He got mixed up with some very unsavory people. I have to find him. <sighs> All right. He was here a few days ago, but he left right away. He looked like... like he was in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow you. Hinek makes some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods, but he never told me where it is. All right, it's not much to go on, but it's better than nothing. I spoke to Ricky's father a while longer and learned that he was always covered in nettles, so he must be hiding in the woods. He also told me of a man he had dealings with in Talmberg. I suppose I should meet this man. I want to ask about the courier's son, Hinnock. Then ask someone else. I have nothing to do with Riki. He'd only drive my customers away. I heard a different story, though. That the two of you were doing business together. Who are you, anyway? A friend of Hinex. He's gone missing and I need to find him. I don't know where he is, but if you find him, tell him he still owes me some goods. I don't give a damn what deals you've been doing together. I won't tell anyone, but I urgently need to know where Riki is. What have our deals got to do with where he disappeared to? More than you think. It's quite possible Reek is hiding out at his poaching lair. And believe me, it wasn't hard to find out who was buying game from him. And it's even easier to go to the castle and tell them. All right, all right. But give me a word of honor you won't tell anyone about our deal. You have my word. Fine. So what do you want to know? I hear Hinnak has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? I don't know exactly. That is, 
I don't know where it is at all. But? What I happen to know, it's a dark place, a cave or an old mine shaft. How do you know? Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skinned and gutted, so he had to have light for that. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, the plot thickens. He lives in a thick forest in a dark mine shaft. I thought it was from this area. Shouldn't I know it? Should know every bramble and goose trail around Tomberg. As I drew nearer to Riki, so did nightfall to Tomberg, but I couldn't let it stop me. Every second delayed was a second wasted on cracking this case and enacting vengeance for my father. I pushed onwards, making my way towards the nearest quarry where I was to meet a man who would have the information on all of the surrounding caves and mines. Okay, we're here, we're here. And it looks like you're the person I have to speak to, Red Robin Hood. Ah, it's so dark. We'll wait. Ooh, hey! Where'd he go? Oh, bro, I am sorry. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> Wake up, you fucking lout! The fuck hey, up! Shit. <laughs> I'm looking for a mine shaft around here, and I heard you know all about them. Mine shaft? What for, lad? You surely don't expect to find any silver? No, of course not. I'm here at the behest of Sir Rudzik and Sir Hanush. I suspect there's a certain outlaw hiding in the woods. Aha! That's a different matter then. There's not many mine shafts left here. Most of them either collapsed or were filled in. But there's still one trial shaft left. That might interest you. How do I find it? Take the road to St. James's. On the way, you'll reach a stone bridge. A short way past the bridge, the stream cuts through the path again. At that point, you'll see a hillside on your right, and the shaft is in that hillside. Thanks. You're welcome. Just try not to break your neck. Boss! Let's go catch a prick. This was it. There was only one habitable mine, and that was where I was going to find Reiki. At least you have no more cares. Need someone to talk to. Fuck! Don't kill me! I can explain! I won't tell anyone, I swear. I've no one to tell anyway, just please, don't kill me. I'm not planning to kill you. You're not one of Runt's men? No. Hmm. Then who are you? I come in the name of Sir Rudzik Kobila and Sir Hanush of Lyper. I'm investigating the raid on the Neuhof stud farm. I got no idea what you're on about. Save your breath. If you want to have any chance to escape the gallows, you'd better come clean, all right? Jesus Christ. This will never be over. So? All right. That Neuhof raid of yours didn't turn out quite as planned, did it? Depends on whose plan you're talking about. We was in it to grab some loot and bugger off. Only Runt's cutthroats was there to shed blood. What do you mean, Runt's cutthroats? There was two gangs there, mine and Runt's. We was only there to steal. They, they wanted to slaughter everyone. 
that when you knew what they had in mind, you didn't have to go along with it, did you? But we didn't know nothing. E even that we was going to Neuhof. They told us to keep watch on the courtyard while they was cutting the horses' throats. Jesus, that fucking vexed me. Them horses was the most valuable thing there. When I spoke up, though, Runt gave me such a bollocking I thought it was best to keep my mouth shut. And when they said we was going to kill anything that moved, well, then we knew there was no going back. Oh, he's dead! <laughs> hey, hey, fellas. Boop! <laughs> Fucking dog! It's the end of me. Oh, it's God. the end of me. God, quick, there's a corpse there! I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, let me know by leaving a like and a comment. And if you want to see more of uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance and P.I. Henry. Thanks, guys.